everybody, this is Chad Clayton with Reed Mariculture. We're here at Reef of Palooza Orlando in Florida. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about our TDO, our granulated and pelleted feed, some new things that we're doing with it, and uh, some new ways that people are using it. So today we're going to be talking a little bit more about TDO. You've heard from me in the past about, about the food and how it's being used. Uh, and so today I would like to let everybody know that we have just reformulated the astaxanthin content. So the Hematococcus pluvialis that we top dress the feed with, that contains the red carotenoid astaxanthin, which is a great pigmentation enhancer, as well as an antioxidant. We have just doubled the concentration uh, in the top dressing formula. So that means bringing out the reddest reds and the whitest whites in clownfish. And so this is one of the top feeds for clownfish breeders. Uh, it is predominantly being used as a weaning diet because it starts off at a very small size, starts off at roughly 250 microns in the TDO size A. And so typically clownfish breeders are starting to introduce the feed uh, within, within six to seven days after these animals have hatched. Most times before the animal goes through metamorphosis, they're starting to be introduced uh, a granulated feed. And so the weaning process lasts a few days, and eventually once these animals are off of live feeds, off of rotifers, they're onto the TDO. And in fact, TDO has also helped people eliminate artemia. So growers and uh, people working in marine ornamentals have now been able to get rid of uh, hatching artemia because of the advances in weaning diets and feeds, and so TDO uh, helps those people to achieve that. So TDO comes in a variety of sizes. We wanted to simplify it for the retail setting, so we created a small, medium, and large. The, uh, the small size is a granulated feed, so it's in a particle range, uh, roughly around one millimeter. And then the, uh, the TDO um, size medium is an extruded pellet, and that's a little bit larger. And then the TDO large is another extruded pellet, larger than the next one. And so what our customers are doing is, not only are they feeding it to clownfish, but people are also feeding it to the fish and corals in their tank. It's a very versatile feed, and so it's also being used by freshwater fish growers, as well as people that are growing invertebrates. And so we're finding it to be incredibly versatile. A lot of people are using it for a number of applications, feeding it to garden eels. We have a great video on our website that we embedded that somebody's feeding it to garden eels. Uh, we also have information and videos on how people are using it for clownfish, so you can go to our website and see that on uh, reefnutrition.com. And uh, another, another interesting thing that we're working on right now is a blend for corals. Because this feed starts at a very small particle range of 250 microns, uh, we're finding that people that are, have SPS and LPS corals are also using it to feed to those animals. And so we're looking to come out with a small particle blend for people that want to feed it to corals, uh, just because of the, the feedback from other people using it. And we've discovered that they really like it. We even have videos of an Australian scolemia eating the TDO on our website. Uh, we slowed it down so you guys could see the feeding tentacles come out and the mouth kind of migrate over and eat the food. Uh, and so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of applications for this food. So in order to protect the nutritional qualities of TDO, you see this bag, it's got a small spout. So the bag is a, is a foil bag, so it prevents gas exchange. We wanted a small spout so that you don't have a big lid, allowing a lot of air uh, to come in, oxygen to come in, because oxygen is very bad for lipids. It can oxidize the lipids and, and change them, and, and rancidity is also an issue. So what we did was we added a oxygen absorber and a moisture absorber to the TDO to protect, to protect those lipids and protect the nutritional qualities. Uh, and so with refrigeration, this product will last at least a year. And so it's a very good shelf life, uh, and a three ounce bag will go a long way depending on the amount of fish you have and corals. Uh, so that's one of the benefits of it. If you go to our website, you will see the ingredients listed uh, for the products. And actually the ingredient compositions change at, uh, throughout the, the product line. So the granulated feeds have a little bit of a different uh, feed composition and nutritional composition than the larger extruded pellets. Uh, and so you can go to our website and see all that information. And so it's all about protecting the nutritional quality and that's why the packaging looks like it does. So not only is this food being uh, used in marine ornamental hatcheries where clownfish are being produced, but it's also being used in a number of other marine ornamental species, uh, including shrimp, uh, dottybacks, cardinal fish, uh, centripigi, angelfish, as well as freshwater fish. People are using it to grow cichlids, and they're even using it, the fish and wildlife divisions in different states are also using it on bass and species of panfish. So the versatility is immense, and we're looking forward to seeing what else people can do with it. So I also wanted to mention that we have a number of universities and uh, fish hatcheries that are using it. The University of Florida is their aquaculture division, 
is using um, Otohimi, which this is very similar to. Uh, Roger Williams University up in Rhode Island is using it, and Virginia Tech is using it, the Mid-Atlantic Aquatic Technologies, who we actually collaborated with on, on finding the best concentration of astaxanthin. Uh, we actually have the research paper on our website, so you can check it out and learn how they did it. Sh you'll see all the photos of the different clownfish. So again, I'm Chad Clayton with Reed Mariculture. We make reef nutrition, AP breed products. We've got our, our TDO, and I just wanted to thank everybody for checking us out. And you can see this video on reefs.com.